Oh, this is interesting. Um, <clears throat> there was I uh, there, a while ago. I'll we'll, we'll start. I don't know if to start with Bob Saget or some guy named As Assange. Um, there was a sound. The sound was Assange. It said something. WikiLeaks. I don't know. Um, again, uh, at age 43, this is the year 2022, I get this, but this comes directly from the school that my son attends each day, same building that I walked into, and this unrest in the American colonies, that's the extent, they don't give us great bookshelves and libraries, this is the condensed important words according to the powers that be somewhere. Um, so then I listen to idiot box, idiom box, I-D-I-O-M, I don't know. I don't like some of the microphones. There's a whole lot of eyesores, but whatever. Um, but one of the eyesores is speaking about an appeal denied for this man called Assange. Um, apparently, he had the, the only words I heard were his name, something WikiLeaks, something classified documents, and leaked. L E, it's and then they made a week wiki leaks. I never heard of it. Like I heard the umbrella term. I don't there, in my area of New York, at least where I was being held in Long Island with the children quietly, without any. Like, there was no. Speaking, I mean, again, there's been no, like, intelligence community. There's no intelligence here in New York. Let's just be clear. Like, maybe they existed once upon a time. But for me, I've never been brought into an intelligent community. So I have to rely on the idiot box in order to find words that the intelligent somewhere in the world wants to know us to know and I don't know if that's like I think of it honestly like walking in as someone who's just about like experiencing um Lou Gehrig's disease where you're starting to lose your hands and your feet ability to to work in a biomechanically correct way and walking into a facility that has a rock wall with all of those little colorful grips and you look at it, that's what the nightly news looks like. I really feel like left in this compromised, exposed position all by myself for these many years with the whole world acting in some theater that I is inside that gymnasium as little colorful screwed in pieces on all different shaped walls and I'm standing at the bottom looking at all the different walls and all the little pieces screwed into the walls and I'm starting to lose the ability to, to to hold on to things and to be able to pull at all because inside the joints they're no longer working in mechanics that makes sense. And the same thing with my legs. And I'm the only one in the facility. There's not even a person with a harness or a pulley system to catch me if I fall. That's how it feels. Maybe there's a guy with a pulley system and help me in the facility, I'm not quite sure. But it doesn't feel like when I walk into that building and I'm 
looking up at all of the hand and foot placements. That's what watching the nightly news is like. Especially knowing along the way on the radio they've mentioned word patterns like Assange, WikiLeaks. But the details of what he did or where he went, they said the U.S. wants him for this word espionage. I'm like, why that one white guy? Why not the thousands of shitbags that have entered the United States of North America? Why are you going after the one white guy? I mean, there's plenty of problems. Easy to clean up. You want to spend some energy. <laughs> I got a full city of... We could get some stuff done. But why the one guy? I don't really get it. And then, just two stories before tonight, they're talking about uh, if you control this one area, then all of a sudden, and I'm like, what? Really? I was like, didn't know that. Um, again, like, there's no, I mean, intelligence exists in a certain level of community, it's just when you're this far out of the loop, like, I mean, where it doesn't, this does not contain the constitutional words I need, nor does this at the moment. Just this at the moment. I'm not saying it doesn't exist, it just doesn't exist in my reality at the moment, because I can't read it, I can't find it. But. There's still stuff at the rock wall with all their little pieces screwed into things and shapes and whatnot, and my motility is not the best as it used to be, so I really am. And I don't have a facility manager to ask these most important questions to, so this becomes difficult. Then there's an interesting piece about Bob Saget. He had, at first they were saying that he died. Uh, he, he just, he died. And then there was this thing about his head being bashed in, but then they dropped that. It was like just a hint of it could have been foul play, but like nobody really went into it and they went off. Uh, tonight they're saying that he left, like I'm doing now, a video diary about his life leading up to his murder or not murder or assassination or not assassination or his just death in words that it could possibly be. I really, again, I'm not the person in charge of coronation or mortuary, whatever, however that works, um, in proclamations and seals. I... Again, there's great big whites <laughs> with big sharp teeth. I just am having trouble finding which rock wall belongs to the whatever and whatever, whatever. Um, and so this gets confusing. But the good news is, is that apparently the Bob Bob's personal um, those are records yeah. related to the. This is on this. To the death of Bob Saget, the comedian died in a hotel room in Orlando in January. Saget's family filed a lawsuit to block the release of the records connected to his death. The lawsuit claims the records included photographs as well as video and audio recordings. Saget family attorney says now the healing process can continue to move forward. Uh, legal law. So that's a nice thing for the family of Bob Saget, that they were able to block the release of those documents. But again, if I'm locked into a rock wall scenario where there's the little pieces of colorful plastics that are hand and foot holds, and I don't have a facility manager that's athletic 
and I'm starting to lose my ability to grip and to pull my own body up so I'm safely whatever, I'm just confused where you bring your safety harnessed self or who to ask to spot you in physical education office um, so you remain safe on your rock climb. Um, Because I don't know how to protect my own medical diary as I'm going through this medical scenario, but it's not the hospital research facility that I want to touch me ever based on Yahtzee Chotzi and his new replacement and the disgustingness going on in New York. One second, Lewis. Oh my God. You know, I've seen videos like you on YouTube, Lou. He came in with a paper bag over his head and two eye holes. Oh my goodness. It's star 1978, star 8378, Nicole Catarosa. It's Earth, Solar System, Milky Way, Universe, Galaxy is broken. And it's Bayside Station, Bayside, New York, 11361.